Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm John. What's going on, everybody? I'm Steve. Excellent. What episode is this? Eight. Eight. And you said there's going to be 12? I believe so. Okay. I think. Somebody obviously correct us. Motoring along. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, it, you know what it was? It's because we started watching it and we like had us catch it up. So yeah, we watched we like, we the watched first four, four, I think, like real quick. Yeah. It was four, right? Not five. Might have been five. Well, five came out, I think, while we when we started. Yeah, I don't remember. It's neither here nor there. Neither here nor there, you're correct. We're mid-fight, Cable just showed up. Professor's should be back soon, he needs I would to guess. Come back soon. Or... He needs to come back. Yeah, it's been a whole episode. His X-Men need him. Which means it's been a while. And Storm. Well, she's finally back. Yeah, I don't know where she is. She's making her way. She's floating along the sky. Yeah. Riding the clouds, the lightning. All of a sudden, a bolt. Riding the lightning, a yeah. A bolt of lightning's gonna come in, blow up one of them. I hope. It'd be awesome. Yeah. Well, let's find out. Okay. Sugar. Drop. Hogue, what have you done? That maniac killed Remy. <laughs> yeah, you're actually probably better off not dropping him. <laughs> it's a good song. What's funny is I think this song is what I remember most from watching the show when I was younger. Yeah. Probably, actually, besides Wolverine's yellow suit. I liked suit. it, but I, for some reason, I wasn't like... I was just too young. I don't remember when it came on. I'm like It was early. It was like 92. It. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, no, of like, oh, time of day. I'm assuming it was Sunday morning. Mm, or Saturday maybe morning. Yeah, maybe. Saturday morning cartoons, right? Usually. I sent Nathan away to give him the best possible future, and it was so horrible, he's come back to stop it. Think of it another way. Your son came back because he needs his father. I mean, you, you sent them forward to get to stay alive, right? And look at him, look at him. He's Big grown to this. He ate his veggies. His name is Bastion. In my timeline, he used the fallout voice. from Genosha to get backing for his Prime Sentinel program. Bastion's evolutionary war lasted 300 years. So another dystopia where Logan <laughs> Celeste to die. <laughs> no, a utopia. <laughs> Why the heck didn't you stop Genosha? Take a seat, Logan. Oh, daddy's no. <laughs> He's such a dick. Try it all. The mystics of Kamartage speak of absolute points. Events that occur across all timelines. Cable could travel to the very... Kamartage, that's Doctor Strange, I think, right? Time would stop him. And our empire shall welcome a new emperor. Professor Charles Xavier. To the might and I forgot he had it on the news. Yeah, how did it get on the news? Bastion, remember that's how it ended? Oh, yeah. Flying Professor Xavier may bring an alien army to Earth's doorstep, and who's going to suffer? All of us. And it's a shame. Is this just a big egg? It looks like it. Maybe an ostrich egg. Could be. You can help her, Miss Gray? Yes. And please call me Jean. Kurt. Miss Gray. Miss mm. Gray? Madeline preferred her first name too. That it sucks that she died. A telepath who could not trust her own memory. Madeline's memories are my own. It, it's odd. I, I see her son and I remember him kicking inside me. And Scott That's weird as hell. And those cravings for oranges with cottage cheese. But he's Madeline's blood. I was abandoned by my mother. Miss Which Eva's is your evil. blood. <laughs> it's she fucked up. I was too blue for her. Too blue. Then I met Rogue years later. Blood is blood. Family is a choice. He's like Mr. Pep talking this. I love it. Yeah, he's good. Got that sweet accent, too. I'm uploading the coordinates for you now. That's where you'll find Bastion. I gotta remember to look up his Maybe voice, too. It sounds so familiar. The villagers got their hands on pitchforks and torches. Dang mobs. So, they're always a problem. Always with their pitchforks. <laughs> I knew Mangala. He could have been so much more. But he settled on being a Nazi pup. I'm using Bastion. Pink pens brimming with mutant test subjects. That's my... Isn't she the government woman? Yeah, right? I think so, yeah. So she's... Still that he saved. Yeah, so that means she's 
not good. Bastion says you haven't spoken a word since Genosha. Because he's figuring out how to wreak havoc on everyone who's doing this, so. Forgive me. Curse me. Just please talk to me. You must have something to say. <laughs> you sure you want to know that? <laughs> I don't think you do. <laughs> how many like him are out there? We shall know momentarily. It's going to be a lot. <laughs> yeah, probably. Like, right? boop, 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 boop. <laughs> They're all going to lighten up. <laughs> Please make yourselves at home while I pack. Oh, guess we play along. It stinks like a trap. Yeah, right. He drew these. Just who is this guy? Those two dicks. And the boy's father, the school janitor, being infected by something from the future. Sentinel technology. Jesus. He's descended of every sentinel from Master Mold to Nimrod. Jesus. Mutated, evolved, born. These are the kind of things that make me happy we don't have time travel. In a hundred years, mutants outnumber humans ten to one. And generations later, human extinction. It's like the scary ozone stuff in the new So is he not considered a mutant? He's just considered a sentinel? You know what I mean? I guess now. Operation I guess, yeah. Zero tolerance. What's a taxi driver supposed to do when a teleporter gets you there in a blink? The human community is scared. Of course they are. They've been told over Jesus. and over that the future is leaving them behind. Then, who knows, maybe a mutant flirts with one of them at a local dive bar and... You said you were building a new sentinel, not weaponizing civilians. You sound like a dinosaur fretting the fate <laughs> of an asteroid before impact. I'm more concerned you're the asteroid, Bastion. You just noticed that? The final dream, he called it. Well, that's terrifying. Like all good art. Oh, shit. Did it to his own mom, huh? It imitates life. Should have saw that coming. Yo, Ford, a little privacy. Oh, Jesus. Everyone's going to get fucked up. Scan for cyborg brain frequencies like Trasks. Would they know they're sentinels? Think Trask she's one too? Not at first. Oh my god. You're right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my stars and garters. <laughs> we must warn the team. Oh my stars and garters. Yep, I knew she was one. All those years telling us to face the future. Your future. But now. Oh shit, she kicked him up in the room. I gotta chop the heck about his taste in women. <laughs> Damn it. That was a cool transition. His entire hometown into Nathan, Jane, run! Oh my god. Holy shit. It's a good throw. Jesus, they're all like, how did he get all of them? Damn. <laughs> He's just stabbing away. Nothing beats out of Mantium. And those regenerative abilities. Yeah, right. When you go through a building. Damn, that's creepy as hell. We need your rope. Why resist the inevitable? Lady, I got six reasons why. <laughs> I love him. 
Hello, my friend. Yes. Nine. They showed those swords on purpose. The <laughs> music, too. Just putting the head back on. Oh, oh my god. Reform like that? Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Damn, that's such a great ability. Jesus. I'm still trying to figure out how the hell he got so many of these people to turn. Oh my god. They're going right in. Couldn't have run him in a plane. I was just thinking the same thing. I don't think they had much of a choice though. Okay, let's show these toasters why you don't screw with the summers. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Gene, take the wheel. Yeah. You ready for this, son? Oh my god. Well, that was an awesome shot. Yeah. Jesus. So much for the low profile. We do not kill mutants. We save them. What? Stand down. Bastion. Mm hmm. Oh man, Charles is going to be real upset that he did that to his house. Oh, you're all in big, big trouble. Of course you did. The hell? You can teleport too. But the scariest thing about Genosha wasn't the death or the chaos. It was a thought. The only sane thought you can have when being chased by giant robots that were built to crush you. Magneto was right. Enough. <laughs> Is he like the magnetic poles or something? Is that what he's doing? I don't know what the hell he's doing. Is that Spidey? Yeah. Tornaga? <laughs> I think that might be the dude that, uh, what's his name for? Logan. I love how he just said enough. Shut them all down. He's the best. <laughs> Where's the professor when you need him? Here he is. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, that's definitely him. What did you do to my home? There's that beautiful bald head. I'm not too late. <laughs> to me, my A good ending. That is a great ending. It was so bleak most of that episode that I was like worried that it was going to end like that. Just. Oh, well, that was a part one too. Such a vast difference in power between Magneto and everyone else. Everyone else, yeah. Yeah. I'm assuming that's what he somehow he went up and like because he they he was up north, so I'm assuming it had to do with like one of the magnetic poles, you know? Yeah, and he just sent out like a pulse, something like just that. Shut them all down. Yeah, because they are ultimately machines that's what i was thinking too like even if they if he like somehow made them not out of metal which i think they are at least they sound like they are no i think they're made out of humans and then i don't know what that goo was that went into True. his dad when well that was and then once he the was born though was. it was like a human with that in it so it should protect them from like not being able to be like crushed or i don't think they're made out of metal that's yeah i wasn't sure about that but yeah it would probably make I more sense them, but i don't know 
somebody will clear it up for us, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I think we get the gist of it, but like they might clear it up in the show, but yeah, I think he did something. Well, because then he's even Logan said he declared war. So what does he mean by that? I don't know. Specifically, at least, because you would think that, like, I guess with uh, Sinister and what was his name again? Uh, Bastion. Bastion, yeah. And with them? It did seem like a lot of. That's another question I have. A, how it looked like, like all these people were on his side, like secretly behind the scenes. You know? Yeah. And like they knew that you know was going to happen. I think. I don't think they. So I don't think a lot of them knew that it was going to be like to the extent that it was like with the Sentinels and everything. Well, what's her name knew? Was, she clearly knew it was going to happen. She just because she even said, I didn't know it was going to be like that. Right. That's what I mean. I don't, yeah, well, yeah. I don't right. think she knew that it was going to be like an extermination. Because then but, she, like, I, she's a prime example. She knew about it. And then so I'm thinking maybe like a lot of the world leaders were behind this dude secretly. You know, maybe. I don't know if I'm right on that, but I would assume once he dips you into that stuff, you're. Well, on that's the side, my, right? that was my second question. How the hell did he get? When he initially said it, he's like, "Oh, it's for people that like want to." Sure, he can, could be lying, but he got like almost everyone. Like they yeah, were and all over. Or I'm just that globe was the what Beast had lit up was it was all over the place. It looked like it was all over the world. No, I don't know. It was hard to tell. I have to go back and look at that part because. He was, they were kind of like zoomed in on it. And everything it turned red. red at once. And yeah. then it was like lighting up red, I think, where they were popping up. Because they said the whole his whole town got turned. But then, like, how did he get the butler? Right. So was the mom behind? Like, was the kid's mom behind I mean, it too? It was all over the place. I don't know. Because even she was like, go with them. And then like close, the, the way she acted made it seem like she knew what was going on. I guess that's why they stopped. Maybe she's in on it. Like, why did they stop immediately and then be like, we don't kill mutants? It's like, uh, I think you do. You're trying to. Unless they're just trying to capture them so that they can. Oh, that is what they said. That's what um, Cable said. They're going to capture them and then any. Oh, put them to work, right? Because then I'm trying to figure out what Bastion's abilities are other than obviously like the Sentinel ship that we've seen. But he can clearly teleport. He can. <laughs> They said he's like a well, he's got whatever mix that mix of evolved of every, I guess, sentinel um, mastermind that they yeah, ever faced. What was his name? Uh, um, Nimrod. <laughs> no, um, it starts with an M. They keep saying it too. Um, why am I drawing a blank? You know what I'm talking about, right? Hank said it, and he's like, "Oh, it combined with Master Mold." Right. What was the first one though? I thought it was like Nim something. I don't remember. I don't know much about Master Mold. I don't know any of them. Somebody give us a little brief synopsis in the comments without obviously yeah. spoilers. But I guess we could look up what they were. Yes, Master Mold. Yes, that one's um, already been. Because they keep happened. bringing it up too, and I keep thinking like, what is Master Mold? Yeah, he's just that's what I, I thought. He's just a former past supervillain. Yeah, and he was a uh, Sentinel. Say, so, yeah, it's a species robot. Team affiliation, the Sentinels. He was created by Trask, we knew that. Fearing superhuman mutants such as X-Men, Trask makes Master Mold supercomputer in the shape of a giant robot, which is what we keep seeing, that will control and facilitate the construction of the Sentinels. That makes sense why it's Master Mold. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, but yeah, that makes sense too, that that's what uh, Bastion had drawn, right? I'm assuming that's who Master Mold is in that picture that he drew? Yeah. I, yeah. Or painted, whatever? I think so. Because then they said it whatever it like. took him over was part Master Mold, part whatever, like you said. Never had. Yeah, something. <laughs> I forget what Hank said. I bet it was not like that, but... I don't know. It's getting interesting. And now our, everything's everything's okay in the world now because Charles is back. Still no storm, though. Yeah, right? I wonder what the hell's taking Hurry her. Hurry up, lady. How long does it take you to fly across well, the sky? Well, I know she's just out uh, enjoying it, but... No, she saw the news. She was frightened, so she's going to hustle up. Yeah, but should then be. she's been flying again, and she was just like, oh my god, I love it so much. I'm well... Just, I'm not just going to go see you somewhere. What's but. his name can't fly, so maybe Forge. So maybe she's just traveling with him. Maybe. Why can't he just create, like, a Anything? flying device? <laughs> a flying horse? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. A Pegasus, and then just ride with her. That'd be sick. Perfect. Right? <laughs> anyway, guys, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. See you next time. See you later.